What's going on guys? Welcome back to the homestead. Welcome back. Well, it's a beautiful 84 degrees here in February in Florida today. The rain finally left us. 10 days of straight rain. So it's time to get some stuff done here on the homestead. My back's still killing me, so are my ribs, but it's too nice of a day for me not to take advantage of it. it looks like we're gonna have good weather for about the next 10 days. As you've seen by the intro, we got Levi over there on the bad end of a shovel digging a trench, but we're gonna go ahead and start running the power for the outdoor kitchen. And it has to be 18 inches minimum by code. So we're gonna go ahead and run that. But in order to run that, I have to frame up a wall here, which means that I gotta go ahead and start working on the floor for the pantry and the walk-in cooler part of the outdoor kitchen. As you've seen with the intro, I was bringing in some foam board and also some two by fours. That foam board is two inches thick. We're gonna lay that down first and then put the plywood on top of that. That should give good insulation on the floor. And then I'll go ahead and frame up this wall. That way I could put the breaker box in right here to connect the wire to. So let's go ahead and get that started. I'll kind of cut back in and let you know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it as we go. But I am excited that the rain has finally left Florida. I'm ready to get some stuff done. So come on, let's get it done. What we're gonna do is get our first two runs of foam board down. The first sheet, I don't have to cut. The second sheet, I do. It's just a little bit out of square, so I went ahead and measured on each end. I'll pop a chalk line, and I'll take the skill saw and use it to cut the foam. But we'll go ahead and get the foam cut in. I'll use where I gotta actually cut the foam as a template to cut the plywood. That way I don't have to re-measure everything twice. Safety first, come out. Now that we got a nice tight fit here i'm going to go ahead and pop the one piece out that i just had to cut and go ahead and lay out the next piece of plywood that's going to go right there use it as a template that keeps me from having to measure the plywood and lay everything else out twice but fit together real tight as you can see it's going to work out real good All right, now that we got the plywood on the floor, as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and start framing out this wall right here. That's the main wall that we need to get up so we can install the breaker box. We're gonna do the studs 16 inches on center. Probably only gonna frame out this wall right here on this video and go ahead and get the breaker box installed. And then we'll go ahead and put in the pipe, pull the wire, get everything hooked up, and we'll be in there like swimwear, come on. We're chugging along. We got the first stud up and we got the two backing plates for the bre breaker box itself. So we're going to go ahead and install the breaker box and drill the hole in the floor. That way we can go ahead and run the pipe up. But I'm not really worried about getting the whole wall built right now. 
I just want to get the breaker box in there and go ahead and get the hole cut in the floor. That way we can go ahead and get the wire pulled and the pipe covered. I can always frame out this wall whenever I'm ready to put the siding on and to close this room in. So let's go ahead and get the breaker box installed and go ahead and get that uh, hole cut. Come on, we're making progress. It's hot out here today though. Sweating in February. Come on. Might be some on the inside. And there we have it. The box is installed. All we got to do now is uh, put the breakers in there, get the wire ran, get the pipe ran up the wall, and we'll be good to go. Making progress, making progress. Well, we just about got all the pipe laid down and glued into the trench. Now all we got to do is work on the sweeps on both ends. Bring it up into the building over there. And over there, bring it up into the main power box. We're getting there. Man, it's hot today, though. <whistles> got a little sweat happening. Now that we got the wire pulled and got everything hooked up in the breaker boxes all we got left to do is fill this trench in right here but that's some work for the old tractor there shouldn't be too bad let me go ahead and show you the new box and how we wired it up turned out pretty good not too bad my buddy Dindy came over and helped me with the electric he's pretty good with that stuff a lot better than I am I know how to do it but uh he knows a lot more tricks he knows a lot more tricks to the tree than I do. Come on. We got the new wires coming in. Got everything taped off with the green, the white. That's six alt wire. I got a 60 amp breaker on the other side. This right here can handle with the six alt at about 75 feet is about what we're running. It'll actually handle probably about 75 amps, but I just, all I need is about 60. I'll never use more than that out here. So we put a 60 amp breaker on the other end to feed it. And then that 30 amp right there is where I'm going to actually use for the dryer. I got my dryer right now out there in the bushes. So we're actually going to put that up underneath this part of the lean-to right here in the washer and run it and have me a nice little uh, old country boy laundromat. Come on. But we're going to end up putting it right here up underneath this cover. The wall, the wall for the pantry and the outdoor cooler is going to be right there. So we're going to put the washer and dryer right there. Be able to plumb it out so the water will go out that way. And have me a nicer little area to actually do laundry. I'm going to actually going to put some gravel and stuff in here. That way it's not all dirty. Maybe even build me a folding table here. Make laundry a little bit easier out here in the woods. But we're getting there. So we're going to go ahead and get this ditch filled in. And then I'll cut back in and we'll close it out. Come on. got all the lines buried I ended up running a cat 6 network cable all the way out here too, right along the side of the power that I ran out here that way I can have internet out here in the outdoor kitchen because I am gonna have a little studio out here where I'll do all of my editing and stuff and also all of my live streams but we officially got power to the outdoor kitchen and it was a long two days a lot of digging 
but my son did quite a bit of the digging thank god for the young backs and plus i had one of my old neighbors down the road come down and help me out with the electric he knows a lot more about electric than i do i know enough to do it but he knows all the little tricks and stuff to make it all real nice neat and clean and make sure that everything will pass the code but now that we got the electric out here i can go ahead and move the washer and dryer to the outdoor little section of the lean to right here that's still going to stay open that'll be my little laundry room and i'll go ahead and start framing out this wall and the other walls for the outdoor cooler and this is the pantry area right here where the breaker box is actually at so looking forward to it excited we're making progress now that we got some good weather here in florida but i think we'll go ahead and close it out for this one so until we see each other again guys come on let's go homestead mm -hmm.